forget to click on the bell icon. You're always being the first to know when I upload a new video. In today's video, we are going to look at the new labor laws 2022 that is in the UAE. For those that people are living in UAE, at least you've heard of this. You've heard of this breaking news that there are new laws that are going to be enacted starting February 2022. That is a very good news for guys living in UAE, guys living in Dubai, guys living in Abu Dhabi. It is actually very good news. But it is as well good news for those people that are planning to go to Dubai. People are planning to go to Abu Dhabi. People are planning to work in the UAE. It's just going to be very good news. This will amp up, this will apply to all people or all employees in the UAE. Remember, this is what I got from the government website. And it says that the Ministry of Human Resources and Emiratization announced a new decree law to regulate labor relations. This was announced on Monday that starting February 2022, new laws, new decree will be signed to regulate the labor relations. What are we talking about or what does it mean to people living in the UAE? Remember, the employers will have 12 months from February 2022 to transition to all employees onto the new contracts. The employers will be given only 12 months to ensure that all their employees transit to the new contracts. Remember the new contracts, it has its own clauses or it has its own target points that we are going to see. What does it mean that employees may undertake what you call full-time, part-time, temporary, or a flexible work? You have those options given on your table, depending on what contract you have with that company or what you want to do and discuss in the contract with the person who is recruiting you. And what does it mean again? It means that employees who do not want to leave the UAE during their probationary period may terminate their employment by giving a notice period of 14 days with a written notice. Still to discuss, like the, you remember the current labor laws, the new law will apply to all companies and employees in the private sector in the UAE, including what we call the free zone, save for Dubai International Financial Center and Abu Dhabi Global Market. This is going to be applicable to all the region in the UAE, including the free zones that we know. Of those people who are living in Dubai know these free zones. It is for the all employers or all to follow in within the 12 months to make sure that the new employees, to make sure that the employees they have in their companies already transit to the new contract. What does it mean? What does this law mean to you? Or what are the, some of the benefits? That's what we need to discuss a little bit. Let us try to go in a little bit and see what could we expect or what do you expect as according to the new law? What do analysis talk about the new law? Is there something that is going to change? Well, in this video, we want us to touch the small, small, small points and see where you benefit from as the employee and where the employer will benefit from, from the new law. But remember, as we so much tend to discuss most of the time, we are looking at the employee's welfare. Where does the employee who works for that company benefits from? So let us try to look at those key points that we think are going to be so much of that interest in that new law. Such that you know, if you are to live in the UAE, this is what I'm supposed to have. Oh, this is exactly what the law is talking about. I'll just get through one of uh, some of these key points and see. Analysis think that we expect that the new regulations will emphasize the following keynotes 
or the following areas will be emphasized by the new law. One, protection against discrimination. That's what the new law is all about. Protection against discrimination. What are we talking about when we're talking about discrimination? We are talking about the gender, we talk about the race, we talk about how employment is being given or how workers are being individually treated. It can be we look at a disability. Do, is there a, a, equal, a equal job opportunities for even those people that are disabled? Yes. Do they get, share the equal same rights? Okay. If the women there are working the same hours with the men, do they get the same amount of money? Do they get the same working hours? If not, do they get the same equal rights they have at one moment of time? So when we look at discrimination, protection against discrimination, we are looking at discrimination, especially in the workplaces, with our employers. And we are looking at very many things are under discrimination. We look at the procedure of how jobs are being allocated. The, how the duties are being allocated at one way or the other. We look at the race, we look at the nationality, we look at all that is under what you call the protection against the discrimination. So, uh, experts think that, the experts think that this law will try to protect all the employees against the discrimination in the labor market. Two, protection against Harassment. What do we mean by harassment? Most of you do not know, but in some companies, there is harassment for employees. These harassments may not need someone to beat you up, but it can either be physical, it can either be verbal, or it can even be physical and mental. We look at bullying. It is one form of harassment. We look at verbal expression or verbal exchange. It is form of harassment. We look at the physical, it can also. There are some employers who get up to beat up their employees. It has ever happened. In some cases, I think we've had those kind of uh, scenarios where you get to hear about that. Look at a situation of the mental, the mental harassment whereby you even fed, get fed up of what you're doing because you are mentally harassed. So it means that the new regulations is aiming, one of its aim is to protect against the employees' harassment by either the employers or those companies that are recruiting them. We look at another one, equal pay for women. What does it mean? That if women work the same hours like men and do the same work like men, they should actually be paid the same amount of money. So when we look at some of the, uh, the inner part of this law, it is actually emphasizing or it actually, it is expected to look at the equal pay for all the gender, the female and the male gender equally, especially in the region of the UAE. That's when we talk about the free zone, we talk about the Abu Dhabi, then we talk about Dubai, we talk about even other, other areas that make up the seven Emirates that talk about, that combine to make what we call the UAE. Then still another one is what we call a fixed term of employment contracts. What does it mean? I quote, let me read. All employers must be employed in contracts not exceeding three years and employees will have 12 months to transist the employers to the new contracts employment contracts should not be exceeding three years that means you have a, a, a very bigger space for you and you are given all that what it needs in case you get at a given point that the employer is trying to violate whatever you discussed about in the contract or oh, what you agreed with that contract in that contract uh, is contrary getting against to what you should do or what you should have done then still it emphasizes the law also we think that it will also touch 
the flexible working models. What are we talking about when you talk about the flexible working models? Remember, the new law is aiming at one, aiming at employers undertaking either a full-time, part-time, or what you call a temporary or a flexible working frame. And that will really depend on the contract that you contract have with your employer. Hope I'm very clear. Imagine a situation whereby you agree to take up a full time. Yes, you also inducted in the law. You take full time, you take part time, you take a temporary or a flexible working uh, working system. It is what is part of what we think is going to be in the law. Still, another one is termination of employer during probation period, where employees may either terminate employment by giving 14 days notice. Wow, that is sounds very beautiful. That even the probation period, you are allowed to terminate your contract with your current employer. In case your employer breaches the rules, the breaches what was agreed upon in the contract, you can terminate. But remember, what the new law is saying, or what the new law think the new law will be like, some of the insights is that you will have to give your employer a notice of 14 days. And you will have to let the Ministry of Labor know in those 14 days before you terminate your contract. If your employer, in case he does not change of all whatever is agreed upon, then you can let it go and you can terminate the contract within 14 days and you can go to look for something else to do. Hope it is a very clear. Thank you so much. This is just very new good news for people working in uh, UAE and those people who are going to work in Abu Dhabi, Dubai, and all the other Emirates, the seven Emirates that make up the UAE. I think it's going to be very good. People are planning to go to Dubai. I think 2022 will also be a very good opportunity. That is there uh, will be a very good opportunity once you get in the country. You can enjoy some of these benefits at one way or the other. Thank you so much for watching the videos to this channel. Thank you for so subscribing to this channel. By the way, if you're not subscribed to this channel, consider subscribing. Don't forget to click up a thumbs up. Don't give yourself a thumbs up. Share, subscribe. Remember, we are looking at a road to 1,000 subscribers. Support this channel by subscribing. Give it a, a subscribe, please. By the end of the year, we should have 1,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video. It's Max from the Max Creation Team.